Mm. <coughs> mm. I should love coffee in the morning. It just makes reading so much easier. All right, all right. Okay. This is not the time to panic. We shouldn't do any panicking. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff here. I mean, really, really great stuff. But, um, that's all it is. It's, uh, it's stuff. There's no, there's nothing holding the story together. It's not a story. It's just, like I said, stuff. And, um, I just feel right now, I mean, the character development is excellent. It's great. I love the dialogue. I just don't think that the dialogue necessarily pushes the story along. I, it's really great, though. I mean, I think it's wonderful. But, uh, I just want a little more from you, a little more dedication, a little bit more rawness. I want some, uh, some emotional input. I don't know, pull from your past. I know you're not necessarily a dragon rider or a fencer or anything like that in real life, but I need you to put yourself in that mind frame, that, that frame, that box, that little box that's going to give us a bestseller here. I mean, I love a lot of your previous works, but I think this one, if you can get the stuff and make it into a story, you'll have the best seller. And, um, yeah. So, if you just do that, I think you'll be great. C -c can you do that? So, like I was saying, I mean, there's nothing in particular that I can pinpoint out that says this is wrong with this, or this doesn't work with that. Um, it's really just, a lot of general things. I think if you fix it on your own, it'll make it a lot better. I mean, there's nothing I can say that, oh, I think you should change this page, or I think you should change that paragraph. If it's, as long as you don't bring me this, the next time, it'll be great. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something very special for you. Something I'd only do for you because you're my favourite writer. Um, I got this email from this guy. He's a really great chap. I think you'll love him. Uh, maybe you can go down to the coffee shop or a bookstore or something, sit down, have a cappuccino. Um, I'm going to email him right now for you, and I'll send you a copy, I'll CC it or whatever, however you do that, mumbo jumbo email and stuff, and, and then you can sit down, and you can talk, get some uh, inspiration, you know, things like that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the men. I'm sorry I can't give you this information now, I just um, <coughs> don't have it with me. But yeah, you know what I'm saying, I mean, just a lot of general fixes up. It's kind of like a tune-up, really, not like a whole overhaul, just a little bit of there, a little bit of there, wheel tightening, some wrench cranking, stuff like that. It'd be really great. This is what I wanted. This is great. So good. Wow. I mean, really. Wow. This. This is great. This. This is what I was looking for. I mean, you know what? This isn't stuff. Do you know what this is? It's a story. And it's not only a story, it's a bestseller. It's a great story. The dialogue moves the characters. The characters move the story. It's excellent. I love what, I love this part, especially with Jordan. Jordan and Mike. I love what's going on there. Kind of chinky, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but I love it. I think it's great. Did you talk to that guy? I'm pretty sure you did because that right there sounds kind of like him. It sounds like you at the same time, but it sounds like a greater you, a better you, a newer you, a bestseller you. I love it. It's great. So, you know, after reading this entire manuscript, um, I can obviously notice there were a lot of changes made. And I'm kind of curious as to um, 
what do you do exactly? Because, you know, I didn't give you a general, like, little specific things. I just told you a lot of general things that you should change and that you should kind of morph and evolve into something that would be, I guess, more best-seller material. So I'm very curious as to um, what exactly did you tweak, tune up, make it a little better, a little bit more interesting. I mean, obviously, Jordan and Mike, so much more developed than the last time. I mean, really, off the charts, like, off the freaking charts. So, um, yeah, did you like, what did you do, more literature mechanisms, more metaphors, similes, more symbolism? I think there's more symbolism, personally. I mean, really, a lot of symbolism in it. I really love that. I love symbolism in a story. I think it's great. A lot of, um, get to dissect the story a bit. You know, get a little view into the author's personal life. And um, you know what? I think uh, Shelley, she's got a lot of gumption. A lot of gumption, and I love that. I love that in a woman where she's got gumption, you know? She's not afraid to tell you to stick it where you want it, you know? And um, this story has it. It's got everything. It's got gumption, symbolism, literary mechanisms. And that, my friend, is an equation to a bestseller. So, what did you do? Well, um... I, I took in all of your of your consideration and all of your insight and your notes and uh, I looked it over and uh, I thought the lab was insightful but um, actually I just um, I, uh, I did some soul searching I took a little trip into that um, and I, I got in touch with my inner self and um, the changes I made were, were just really um, important I thought I just um, I changed the last two sentences in the book Oh, so you only changed the last two sentences in the entire story. That that was it. Oh, um... Well, you know what? That's great. You know, I think that was the change that needed to be there. Um... <clears throat> you know what? I think those last two sentences, because so much was building up to this ending, and there was just so much there that the, the reader was, like, kind of scrambling, didn't know where to go, and then those two sentences just... It made the gooey stuff that holds the story together. That really just, you know, like, oh, man, great ending. And I think that's what does it. It what, you know, sticks the symbolism, sticks the gumption. It just makes it a really great story. I'm really glad you changed the last two sentences. I think it, I think this is a bestseller, like I said. Good change. Um, I think this is good. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it had to be that.